In this video, we have an interesting math Olympiad problem. Here, we're gonna draw a square, and square has all sides equal. And we have to find its side. So, let's immediately denote the side with x. From one corner, they begin to draw a line segment of length 12 and uh, draw a perpendicular to it that is at 90 degrees which is of length 3 and then at another right angle they have drawn a line segment of 9 and it went to the opposite corner of the square so considering all of these conditions you have to solve for x pause the video try it yourself if you can find the answer let me know in the comments first i would like you all to try and then come back to the video and watch the answer so here what we're going to do is let us assume that you started by connecting this point to this point and this point to this point you connected these lines to form two right angles but this is quite a logical question you probably did it and it led you to know answers what can be done here actually it's a very serious task you have to break your head well before the correct way of solving comes here so in fact the moment of insight is really really pleasant when when you know that so what are we going to do the solution here would be let's get rid of the square frames and redraw this drawing as it would be convenient for us that here we have a line segment of 12 at right angle another perpendicular 12 3 and also the line segment of length 9 now if we connect one end of the first line segment and the other end of the second line segment we will get two right triangles we lower the line segment equal to 9 we get a rectangle and this line segment will be equal to 3 as it is so here the total length of this line segment this is 12 and this is 9 so this total will be 21 and this length is 3 we can easily find the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse we can easily find the hypotenuse to what it will be equal to let's write it down we can use pythagoras theorem to find the hypotenuse so what does the pythagoras theorem say is square root of this length 21 squared plus 3 squared is equal to the square of the hypotenuse so let's add them that's equal to square root of 450 and that's equal to square root of you can write it as 2 times 225 225 square root is 15 so that's equal to 15 root 2 15 square root of 2 so what it is let's look at the picture back here what we have we've just found that this hypotenuse is the diagonal of the square and it's equal to 15 root 2 so we just found that this is the diagonal of the square and it is equal to 15 square root of 2 but now it is not difficult to find the side of the square so according to Pythagoras theorem this is x and this is x and this is the hypotenuse so x square plus x square is equal to the square of the hypotenuse so let's write it down x square plus x square is equal to 15 root 2 whole squared so we have x squared plus x squared that is 2x squared is equal to 15 root 2 the whole squared now 
if we take square root on both sides, we have square root of 2x is equal to 15 root 2. Now, root 2 and root 2 gets cancelled. So you're left with x is equal to 15. That's your answer. This is your answer. This is what we are looking for. x is equal to... It is rather a non-trivial way. I hope that someone succeeded in solving this. Yes, if you have solved it in another uh, different way, be sure to write it in the comments. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.